Well, hello, my pretties. How do you know when it's time to get rid of a friendship? Just make it a thing of the past. It's run its course. I can't have this friend in my life anymore. Sometimes it can be a very tough decision, especially if there's memories, history involved, and all that sort of thing. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And people change over time. Sometimes it's not for the good. Sometimes we grow apart. Uh, sometimes we grow together. So how do you know? I'll just give you my experience and please comment with your own wisdom and your own ways of doing this kind of filtering. Because if we don't, man, keeping the, the wrong people in our life just because they've been here in our life for a number of years and using that justification to keep them around even longer could really do some serious psychological damage to ourselves. So here's some uh, the most common real world example for me as to how I know when it's time to okay, sever a friendship. And it doesn't always have to be a bad thing. It could just be there's still a respectable person. There's just something going on. But in, in this case, it's typically uh, I've lost some respect for them, right? So here's here's what happens. I'm, I'm wronged. And maybe it's happened more than once. And it's a judgment call as to when to say something. Maybe the first time, depending on, on what it is. There's a lot of variables to, to raise. But at some point, if not right away, then down the road, I've got to say something to said friend, and I'll be polite. I'll call them out on it. I'll do it politely but sternly so that I'm not mincing my words. And I'll say, hey, friend, you did this. It's not cool. It made me feel this way. Here's why. Then what's their response? Their response is going to tell me, typically, everything I need to know. It might open up a dialogue and there's great conversation. Cool. But if the response is that of justifying what they did is wrong and gaslighting me over it and double downing on what is the, the, the wrong behavior, then, okay, at that point, even if we've been friends for a long time, we've got these great memories, it's probably not a good idea to keep that person in my world anymore. So that's when it's time to go, whether it's online or an offline friend, if it's online Facebook, maybe I unfriend them, depending on, maybe I also block them, who knows. Now, if the person responds in a way that, you know, they apologize, it's sincere, they were oblivious, they had no self-awareness, I just help them become aware of what they were doing, and they're like, oh my god, I'm so sorry I was not aware. And so it, it splits down the middle, man. Some people, they chose the gaslighting option and the justification for it and the double downing. Others, they are filled with gratitude that I had the courage, the bravery to just open up and be honest and express myself to them in a, a safe, non-judgy, but stern kind of way so that they knew I was serious, right? So it's that response. And embarrassingly so on my behalf, that took me years to get that down, man. Uh, and this is a lesson I learned a long time ago, so it's not a recent epiphany. It's just now I decided to make a video about it. So here I am. But I also see a lot of other people doing this where they drag out relationships with people and even romantic ones too, for that matter, where it's like, uh, just because you have a, a past doesn't mean you need to make a future with that person. And it can be the difference between life and death, or certainly at the very least, a quality of life versus a less than quality of life. And it's a common thing that I see. So I think we need to collectively and individually get better as people and, and making these recognitions uh, that some friendships, some relationships, they run their course and it's time to let them go. But at least try to have that conversation first, see how they respond and be willing to let that friendship go if that's what nature calls for, you know? Otherwise, it can just lead to a lot of stress and anxiety. And that's not worth it. It's the only life you're going to get that we know of with a human conscious experience here on planet Earth. So make it a good one. There's a, on your tombstone, there's going to read a, a birth date and a death date. And then there's a dash right in the middle. And that dash represents your life, what you did with it. Certainly how you respond to how people treat you, how they behave towards you and the toxicities and so forth. And uh, how we respond to that is a, a huge indicator as to the quality of that dash that represents our life here on planet Earth. So I hope that makes sense. Well, I've got tons more of this kind of stuff on all sorts of different topic matters. Orgasmicpathways.com. Choose your pathway. Dance, health, fitness, philosophical stuff, personal growth and development. I'm a very philosophically thinking young lad. 
interwoven with a trainload of passion and clarity. So if you dig that kind of tenacious communication, please feel free to follow me on YouTube, subscribe to me there, comment with your own wisdom as it pertains to this video or another video. And uh, I love the interactions with other people. That's another way in which we really broaden our understanding of the world and other people and even become self-aware. Like when you bring up a problem with a friend, are they going to become self-aware or are they going to do double down? I don't know. Go find out. Bye for now. Feel free to share this video. I think it's a good one.